is Zeddy Egg and welcome back to another episode of Cruise Ship Tycoon. Well guys, it's been a brand new update and you're never gonna guess what they've added in. They've added in freaking nuclear powered engines. Like, I don't think you understand what's going on right now. Nuclear powered engines. We just have, I'm on the, currently on the Titanic right now, which is probably a really slow ship what I've got right now. But these engines produce so much freaking power. We're going to drive the fastest we've ever gone in the freaking game. Now, guys, if you enjoy this, because today we're going to do a couple of experiments. I'm going to try and buy a boat and fill it with like loads of nuclear kind of engines. If that's what they're called. I'm going to see how fast it can currently go. So if you do enjoy this, please smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you subscribe. So you're notified when the next episode comes out. And let me know in the comment section right now what you think about these nuclear engines. Now, I'm currently on the Titanic. It's not the best ship to kind of test out. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I kind of need to get towed back. Here we go. Request a tug. There we go. Yes. We'll get towed back to the dock area. We're pretty much dock up and we're going to go to manage right now our vehicles and we're actually going to delete th this one because it'll give us a little bit of cash money. We'll, we'll keep the Titanic. Actually, it depends. How much do we get back from the Titanic? Mm, we'll see because I do know that these nuclear engines are freaking expensive right now. But we're going to buy a new ship and we're going to keep it nice and cheap and go for the Heron class here. Buy this. We do it. We're going to jump on board. As simple as that right now, boys. This, is this the small boat? Wait, I'm not even... That, there we go. The small boat. It's tidy. It's tidy right now. Now, I just go to edit mode. And we go right down to the bottom deck. It has two simple engines. A little fuel tank and all that kind of stuff. You know. Easy, mate. Now, if I go to build. And if I go to power nuclear reactor that's what they're called um it cost a million i know expensive but what people fail to understand is the generator produces 1.5 megawatts the battery produces 500 kilowatts which is half a megawatt kind of uh, and the solar panels, they generate power for us. But these these two here, the generator and the battery, is what we can use to create power to move a boat. And out of the two of them, it's the generator that makes the most power. 1.5 megawatts. The nuclear reactor does 20 megawatts. <laughs> That's like having uh, 13 generators in one. That is ridiculous. That is freaking ridiculous right now. Now, before I throw them on, before I do throw them on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place down... Can I squeeze another engine? Can I do it sideways? No. Okay, can't really squeeze another engine. Let's just test this one out. Let me get out of edit mode. Right now, let me drive the ship. And let me go full... Yeah, full beans ahead. And let's just see what kind of knots that we currently reach. Then we'll throw on some of those nuclear reactors and then see what kind of speeds we're doing then, boys. So in the comment section right now, guys, I want you to let me know what is the fastest you have ever got on your boat to travel. Then let me know what is the fastest you've got your boat to travel with a nuclear reactor. That's what I want to know right now. So it looks like the standard version of this Heron class right now, we've just broken 15 knots with those two basic engines. There's nothing fancy about it. There's nothing crazy. There's nothing I'm going to go, yo, this is speed right now. It, it ain't happening, boys. It's not built for speed, this this boat. I'm trying to get down right down to the bottom. I don't think we can get down to the bottom, can we? Uh, yes, we can. So like I said, there is two engines, which are a very smoky in here. And uh, two fuel tanks. It's pretty good. Now, the nuclear reactors, so we're doing 15, well, say 15.5 knots. That's easier to see. That's easier to see. All right, we got you, boy. We got you. We're not really going to get, we're not really going any faster than that. So let's request a tug back. I know the nuclear reactors, they require two employees or two people that, um, let me dock quickly, that have to maintain or be kind of near them at all times. Then there's some big boats right there. So let's go to edit mode. 
Let me remove the two engines. I'm going to get rid of the uh, the food things as well. We don't kind of need them at the minute. And then go to build. So the nuclear uh, reactor, sorry, produces 20 megawatts of power without the need of fuel. Oh, okay. So I can delete these two then. They're gone. They're gone right now. Oh, get back into it. Uh, but it must be staffed by two engineers. Okay, okay, I gotcha. And it cost a million at all. Oh, my good God. This. This is huge. And at the same time, I can't fit it on the bottom deck. Meaning, I'm going to have to try and squeeze it in here. Right, let me go up, to the, let me go up a few decks. And let's just see what we've got to work with. So if I placed it... Can I place it in here? Right, it would fit in there, but it's a little bit too big. Let me go a deck down. Let me try here instead. Right, if I squeeze it there, it cost a million. Go a deck up, and it pops out the top. Let me, uh, can I remove the floor? Oh, no, edit mode, sorry. Build. Uh, floors, open up this whole space here. So we can, you know... Reveal the nuclear generator, which kind of looks ridiculously big and beasty. It really does. Uh, should I get rid... How much floor can I get rid of here? Because I want to open it up. I want to be able to see it. Uh, walls. Let me... How do I remove the walls? Is it... Oh, it's this style, isn't it? Yeah. Bam. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. That looks ridiculous. That does look ridiculous, doesn't it? What kind of speeds are we going to be reaching in that? It is like 10 freaking engines. So let me just put the walls back up then real quick. There we go down a deck. It's actually quite difficult to try and work it out. So down the deck and I think it goes across here. I could be wrong. No, I'm right. Actually, no. Let me delete that bit there. We'll, we'll put like a little um, balcony style railing. That's what it's called there and there so this is pretty much open you can see oh this it looks a beast it looks a freaking beast right now so engineers are currently required to power this monstrosity <laughs> so let's get to manage them so passengers no crew uh engineers then we need to get oh we need to get the um the, the quarters don't we what they called as utilities not utilities. Is it rooms? It comes under rooms. The cabin crew. That's what we need. So let me uh, go down a floor. And can I go down another one? Yeah. Let me just squeeze them in here. These are the only passengers we're going to have at the moment. Is the ca is the crew. <laughs> and manage. So we need to hire a captain. Hire a navigator. Hire maintenance. Hire another maintenance. So how do I get the engineers there's somebody in the water right now how do i how do i get requires an engineer how do i get those uh because they're not coming up here supplies routes ships rating does that fall under i need like a there's like a like an engineer's room uh bathroom suite hold on there's another style cabin crew this is a different style balcony utilities uh ah hold on engine room right it's wait hold on it's it's pure decoration that is freezer housekeeping closet i'm just gonna housekeeping closet as well i can't find a path yeah because you don't really have anything to do really do you no crew we got cleaning right how do i get the engineer guys this seems ridiculous this low-key does seem freaking I think I've been looking ridiculous at this wrong the whole right time because my engineers have been here have i just been going crazy i think so i think so i legit think i have uh but okay let me get out of this for a minute because it's now gone legit dark uh, it says engineers required oh that's why the engineers can't get oh it makes sense oh Sonic, you're so dumb you're so dumb 
This is why it won't work in this. This is why I was so freaking confused. Right. Let's put a door here. And to build uh, walls, I need the door. Picture window, metal door. We'll go for the metal door. There we go. They're now walking up and through. They're coming. Finally, they're making their way in. Well, that's one of the engineers anyway. Where's the second one? It needs two. There's a second one right now. So wait, matey. So wait. This is good. This is good. Uh, and I think we're pretty much ready to go then, right? The, the the nuclear reactor's now enabled. Pretty good. Press done. Get out of this. So I could now technically go for a little spin. Oh, it is daytime. Hmm. Yeah, I could now technically go for a little spin. See how fast it is. Which I know it's going to be freaking fast. I, I know it's going to be freaking fast. But then I wonder if you can then combine like other stuff to it like because batteries give you that little bit of a boost the normal engines give you a bit you know more power i wonder if you add more to it that would be kind of in and i wonder if you can place down multiple of these on a boat oh so many questions are gonna get answered oh my god okay right let's undock and should i just go full steam ahead you ready boom oh wow look at the speed coming off it look at the freaking speed coming off this right now Holy moly. We were doing 15.5 knots. We already pretty much doubled it. And we're on the way to freaking tripling it very, very soon. This has got some real speed right now, boys. Can we get over 40 knots? Come on. You'll be able to get over 40 knots. We're getting so close. So close. 96, 97. Come on, 97. Uh, no, I think we're topping out, but... That's ridiculous. For no other type of engines or anything like that on top of this. This is kind of crazy. Your boy has a nuclear powered boat. Oh my god. This is pretty good. Right. Re request another tug back. Right. We're going to duck it up again. Because now I know how it works. I want to do so much more stuff to this. Yeah. Right. Edit mode. <laughs> so build. Power. Batteries. Let's get a bunch of these batteries in then. So deck down, down. There we go. Is this the bottom? Yep. Yeah. So if I do a load of these, because the batteries give us a boost. So if I drop a couple there, and if I also build in a couple of engines, I know you could argue that we don't need them, uh, but I want to see what happens when you kind of do like the normal stuff to it. Uh, fuel tank then. One. I can only really get one there. Of that size. So we get another one in just there. All right, so there's a decent sized fuel tank there. A load of batteries, which is pretty good. And we're going to have to build in some solar panels as well. Let's go for the 35 kilowatt ones. Just to get the most out of it. So we'll take it from here. Push it all the way down. Nice. So they'll start generating us some sweet power. We'll throw a few more in. Why not? They'll generate us some sweet power. See how this goes. Then I think what I'll do, if you can, if you can buy a secondary one, let me see if you can. Uh, if they allow you to select it. Yeah. Which would mean I need a bigger boat, which is fine. But we'll do that after. So we were doing almost 40 knots. We came so close to kind of getting that done. So with the additional extra stuff right now, um, let me resupply the, the ship. So buy the extra stuff there, the fuel. Right, good stuff. Undock. Set sail, full steam ahead. Why are we not moving? Right, dock. Undock. We're kind of stuck, aren't we? Let's try and strafe out. There we go. Full steam ahead. There we go. Right, now we're moving. Now we're legit moving. So, we've already smashed 40 knots with the extra batches that we have on board. The two additional engines. And we're closing down 50 knots right now. We've gained an extra 10 knots out of this. This is ridiculous, boys. This is ridiculous for our little nuclear generator. So, 50.5. Damn, boy. That's ridiculous. Come on. That 
is ridiculous right now. Holy moly. So I wonder what happens if I can get a second nuclear reactor on the boat. That's going to change everything at that point, hasn't it? It really has. Right. My mind is going elsewhere. Let's um, let's drive the ship. Let's request a tug back right now. Let's um, dock this up. Uh, let's go to manage. And uh, ships will buy another ship right there. And actually, no, wait. We'll get rid of the Titanic. We no longer need it. You're past your service. And let's get... Right, this is now the question. What do I get? Because the bigger the boat you get, the more it weighs. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm going to go for the Raven class. A little bit bigger. Should be able to tweeze, or squeeze two of those engines in. So, edit mode right now. Um, right, so, I could probably... I, I don't think I'm about to get away with a nuclear reactor. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Yeah, don't think I'm about to get away with a nuclear reactor in this side because it's a little bit too small. Um, let me look at the boat anyway. So, a deck up there. Let's spin that round. So, what's above it? Ah, okay, it edges up, doesn't it? So, if I squeezed one there. One. Do I put it back to back or do I keep them all like that? One there. One there. I got three on that single floor. So, you got nuclear just popping out there. And what's on what's what's upper floor? Okay, so we've got the the chimney stacks there. Can I remove both of those? Yeah. Can we move both of those? Build. So I could play. Do you know, I could actually place them on the roof. Just two like that nuclear reactors. Weird, but it means I then have five. And can I squeeze in one? I can actually squeeze in one there. That means six nuclear reactors on the boat. I don't think I'm about to get away with an additional one. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, can't, I ain't got the room to squeeze another one in here. Because of what's above us. And below us. Which is fine. Don't mind, because I've got six where I only originally had one. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Boys, what is going on right now? Uh, right, let's get out. Let me finish the bell mode. Get out of this. All right, we have two on the freaking roof. Which means managing uh, crew. Oh, wow, look how many engineers I need to hire at this point. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, I, keep, I always forget about that. I've got to do the um, rooms, the crew quarters. So let's get a load of these real quick. Um. Uh, Right, is there stairs? There's no, there's not, st there's no stairs in this boat, is there? So I'll have to, uh, one, two. Um, hold on, three, four, and I've got to do like a staircase going up, haven't I? So squeeze those there, build. Is it utilities stairwell? There we go. Just to kind of get up there. Manage. So, they cost 100 to hire, but they cost 500 a day. Which means I'm now spending 6,000 a day just on the freaking engineers. Right, hire the captain and navigator and the officer. There we go. So we're pretty much good to go for the most part. Uh, I just gotta make sure. Oh, do you know what? We need more, don't we? Because that is not enough people, is it? Build stairwell. Down a deck. They've got all the people they need there. We don't quite have them all here because they're still red. Oh dear. Oh dear, right now. Um, right, how am I going to get past this? 
Oh, wait, actually, I could do it. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, let me go down a deck. I could kind of do something here, couldn't I? All right, stay one again. How does that one go up here again? Sorry. Like that, right? Yeah. And then here. There. Go down. There's that. Yeah. So they can go down and then back up the other side. If that makes sense. So you can come down here to get up to where you need to get to. Thus meaning we should have enough people. Well, I assume we should have enough people. What we need to go... Okay, are you going down to walk across to go back up? Please tell me you are. But we still need more people to work there. Right? I don't know anymore. Honestly, I don't know anymore. Can I delete this whole room? Okay, I'll delete that room. Build rooms. Cabin crew. And then manage. Okay, I've got them all hired. Should we just set sail and see what happens? Should we, should, we, should we just do it? Should we just do it, boys? Let's see what happens right now. Right. Okay, undock. Let me strafe out slightly. There we go. Try and come to a little centerpiece. And... Just just go with it. I'm well over 50. 60. Set 80. Oh my god, are we going to get to 90? 90? This is ridiculous. Right, okay. I'm not even going to go any further right now. Because I've just realised something else. I could potentially get to 100 if I place in then the batteries. So build utilities. No, power. Batteries, right. Let's go down the decks here. Squeeze a load in. Build an engine or two additional. Right. Okay. I think the nuclear reactor as well also generates us power for the batteries. I think it does, because the way it's shooting up right now, I'm not even doing anything. Right, press done. Let me get out of edit mode. Right, this person over here is w walking up. Where are they going? They're just chilling. So maybe they just don't want to work. That person's just walking around. Okay. Right, undock. You ready right now? Here we go, boys. Here we go. Can we get over 100 knots? Oh, this is this is gonna go over. This is gonna legit go over a hundred knots. Oh, we came. No, we've come so close, so close right now, which I don't even care. This is ridiculous. How we can almost get a boat to a hundred knots. This is the fastest boat I've ever seen in all my life right now, guys. And I'm gonna crash. How quickly can we reverse? Oh no way. That stops so quick. That stops so. Qu that is. This is a tool of a boat right now. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you aren't already here, make sure you subscribe so you're notified that the next episode comes out. But this is legit. Until next time, guys. I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.